Well, again, folks, the uh, halftime is now complete. Both teams are preparing to get back out on the field. We've got fresh, new, eight more minutes on the clock here. Your score, 24-6, to six, Holy Cross on top of St. Charles. Now, St. Charles will be getting the ball to start the second half. They've got an opportunity to make a statement here on this first drive. And not really an opportunity. They have a mandate, Joe, they have to, to make a statement. <laughs> they yeah. have to. Yeah. The worst thing possible that can happen right now for St. Charles is a three and out. Yeah. All right, so Morrison is preparing to kick this one off for Holy Cross. We've got two men back deep for St. Charles. Looks like that's number 44 back there, which, of course, is Riley Miller. And number eight, Sam Taylor. And here's the kick from left to right. It's a long liner. Bounces at the 20, goes to the 10. Finally picked up by uh, Taylor. He's going to try his way through the middle, gets through one tackle, puts his shoulder down, gets through another, takes it out to about the 21, maybe the 22-yard line. And that's where St. Charles is going to bring out uh, their offense. First and 10 from the 22-yard line. Here we go, Sean, starting the last half of CYO football for 2012. This is it. This is it right here. All right, 7.53 to go here in the third quarter. Your score, 24-6. to six. St. Charles is led by number five, Jack Pettenberg. Let 7.53 to go here in the third quarter. Long time for uh, St. Charles to get out of the huddle that time. We got four wide outs and a single setback. Pettenberg will be under center. They're in uh, all red with the white helmets. Here's a snap. He rolls to us, and it's a pitch to the left side. He's got it. Gets into the secondary, out to about the 27-yard line for a nice five-yard gainer by number 12, Mike Hake, for the St. Charles Cardinals. Good first down play. Good first down play. If you can pick up three to five, five, yep. five yards on first down, you're doing okay. That's right. So they do just that. Brings up a second and five out to the 27-yard line. Don't like to see that as St. Charles walks up to the line of scrimmage out of the huddle. <laughs> well, you'd like to see him have a little bounce. In the yeah. And it's going to be a, a power eye right this time. Three men in the backfield. And it's going to be a pass play. And it's a little flare pattern out to Carl Williams, number uh, one. He's got it at the 30. Breaks one tackle, breaks two, finally keeps wrapped up out past the 35, out to about the 37-yard line. That's a first down for St. Charles. Moving the chains. Con a positive flow to the game right now for St. Charles. You came out, you didn't get your three and out, which is what you had to avoid. Moving the chains after two plays. Um, that's nice. Sam, I think Sam's glad to be able to call some offense plays. Darn right. All right, well, they actually marked this one at the 36. Still good enough for a first down for St. Charles. Going to go with four wideouts this time and a single setback. Pettenberg under center. Here's a snap. Looks to throw the screen. It's hit at the line of scrimmage and goes nowhere, so that's an incomplete pass. And that's going to bring up second and ten for the Cardinals. Well, folks, this is third quarter action right now, which is brought to you by Kevin Sorg, an authorized agent with Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield. Kevin Sorg can help you find health coverage that fits your needs and budget. If you're without group coverage, self-employed, ending COBRA, retiring early, or a senior, call Kevin Sorg at 888-588-7697. Second 10 for St. Charles from the shotgun. Pettenberg steps into the pocket, lofts one. He's got his man. He's got the 10 yards. He's got a downfield block. He shakes a tackler at the 50, That's the 40, hate. the 30, the 25. He's got one man to beat. Oh, he gets finally wrapped up inside the 20, down to about the 15-yard line. Number 12, Mike Hake on a nice reception and run. St. Charles took a play out of the Holy Cross book right there. They spread the field with four receivers. And what did Holy Cross do? They took their linebackers all That's out of the right, box. Yeah. Made that little middle screen easy for Hake because nobody was on him. Yeah, nobody was in the middle of the field. Yeah, that was a five-yard reception. And I don't know how many yards after the carry, but Hake took it downfield inside the red zone. And now St. Charles is facing a first and 10 from the 14-yard line of Holy Cross. Split backs, wide receiver slot left. Here's a snap, pitch left. And it looks like he's going to try and find a seam on the left side. Gets back to the line of scrimmage and not much more there. Slowly developing play allowed Holy Cross to get over there and make a stop for maybe a one-yard gain. 
Holy Cross obviously knows that St. Charles loves to sweep. Yeah. They are they are loading up the edge yeah. with their corners, with their outside backers. There's just two or three guys sitting out there waiting for the sweep. So now you have to start popping inside and bring those guys back in. Yeah. Well, let's see what happens here. Split back, slot to the right this time. Tight end left and right. Pettenberg under center. Here's a snap. Pitch to the right. That's Carl Williams. Goes to the edge. Cuts it up. He is still on his feet. Goes back towards the middle this time. Looking for some seams through the front. Oh, a flag on the play. He, he gets into the uh, end zone that time. But hold everything. See. There is a flag on the field. That was all Carl Williams. That was. He made it all the way back. I mean, a man amongst boys out That's there. That's right. But again, unfortunately, this penalty is against St. Charles, and that touchdown run is nullified and is coming back. So that's going to be a block on the back against the offense. Again, that was a crazy play. They tried the right side. He comes back. He gets hit, and he's still on his feet. He tried it through the middle, breaks through, but all that time on his feet, and it's tough for the linemen to uh, maintain their blocks properly. So the penalty moves it back 10 out to the 21-yard line. They need to get down to the 5 for a first down. Power eye right formation, and Pettenberg looks to throw. He rolls to his left. He's got his man out there. Oh, cannot come up with it is number three, Jake Pease, near the end zone marker on the left side. Good defense that time by Holy Cross. Brings up a third and 16 for St. Charles. We've got 5.08 to play here in the third quarter. The score is 24 to 6. Holy Cross on top. Number 12, Mike Hake, off that uh, big return or big reception off of the middle screen, ran it down to the 14. Carl Williams actually then on the subsuing, uh, the next play uh, took it into the end zone, but again, there was a penalty. And so now the Cardinals are facing third and 16 from the 21. I formation. Fake to the tailback, bootleg to the left, and he's got it. Oh, we've got a flag coming out that time as Pettenberg takes it down to about the 10 yard line on the naked bootleg left. Side judge throwing a flag into the backfield. I, let's see what the call is. Yeah. If it's blocking the back, I'm going to respectfully not to hold. It's a hold against St. Charles. Because the defender was getting blocked by the receiver. Well, he spun around. The Holy Cross right. player spun around. I was hoping that they were not going to call it a block in the back. But holding is the call. Holding is the call, and that would have been in the backfield, it looks like, as the um, the referee is standing near the 24-yard line. He almost so. could decline this. No, they're going to give him two more cracks at it. Yeah. So they that would have brought up fourth down, Sean. Yeah, that's exactly right. Now, instead, they're going to give him two more downs. And uh, so it remains third down. However, the ball is now placed out at the 33-yard line with five minutes to go here in the third quarter. St. Charles has the ball. From the shotgun will be Pettenberg. They need to get down to the five-yard line for a first down. They've got two downs to do it. He's looking to throw. Big penetration, middle screen. He's got it, and he gets down inside the 30, down to about the 28, maybe the 27, and not much more there for number 44, Riley Miller. Hmm. Let's see here. Fourth, and let me add this up, Sean. 10, 20, 24, 22, yeah, something like that. Fourth and forever, basically. The ball is at the 20, 28 yard line. Clock continues to tick. Under five minutes to play, about 4.15 to go here in the third quarter. And it looks like four wide outs, single setback, Pettenberg from the shotgun. And the ball is on the ground. And it's continuing to roll. He rolls to his right. He picks it up and is now going out to the right. Another a flag, flag on the play. He throws it deep to the end zone, and it is going to be an incomplete pass. Another flag coming out. One would assume because of the broken play nature, that's going to be a hold against the offense, and it is. That'll this be declined. That'll be declined. That's going to be a turnover on downs right there uh, for St. Charles. And the Holy Cross will take over. First and 10 from the 28 yard line of St. Charles. Or excuse me, of Holy Cross. So the defense holds. And Joe, I don't know if the defense holds as the St. Charles offense more crumbles uh, on that drive. I don't know if it was. Uh, you just can't find that rhythm. If it's not a uh, bad snap, fumbled, or 
uh, a great play by the defense of Holy Cross. It's, it's a penalty. Yeah. So they mark it at the 28-yard line, and here comes Holy Cross on offense. They are led by Peter Morris and doing a fantastic job for the Crusaders this afternoon. Going to have a single setback, two wideouts to the left, one wideout to the right. Morrison under center, give to Curlegrand, tries his way around the left side, hit at the line of scrimmage and not much there, maybe a gain of one. And that's about it. Cornwell and Tipman, Bark Tipman on the stop. And that's exactly where they mark it at the 30 with 3.20 to go here in the third quarter. Your score 24 to 6, Holy Cross on top. Call that a gain of uh, just shy of two yards. Two. Holy Cross breaks huddle. They come to the line with two wideouts to the right side. Slot left, wide left. Single setback, man in motion now coming across the middle. And again, it's a give to Curlegrand. And he's hit at the line of scrimmage and will go with no. He's dropped at the 30, but no game. Looks like hip and hammer. Number six, hip and hammer on the stop for St. Charles. No game. Third and eight, Sean. Third and eight. Let's see if St. Charles can get off the field to start the second half. Well, again, they have uh, had troubles all afternoon on third down with Holy Cross, whether it be short or long, including that third and 21 down at the other end of the field in the first half. Let's see what Holy Cross can do on third and eight here. Two wide receivers to the left. Single setback. Morrison under center. And it's a give to the setback right up the middle. Big push. He will not have enough for a first down, but gets it close to the 35-yard line. I'm not sure of uh, why Holy Cross did. They only had one receiver split here on our side. Yeah. Why not split two? Sure. Because you know Charles will bring that other linebacker out of the box. Well, by only having one wide out, Charles left their, uh, their, their linebacker in the box, and then they ran right at it, right up the middle. Well, it brings up a fourth and uh, fourth and three. And Morrison, who's also the quarterback, will be in punt formation. Standing at his own 24-yard line. Here's a snap. He does kick this one away, and it's a high end over-end kick. Not very deep Not as it very lands deep at, at the 50. Takes a nice little cross bounce down to about the 41-yard line, and that's where St. Charles will take over first and 10 from their own 41-yard line. We are back to live action. First and 10 for St. Charles. And the uh, quarterback is dancing around in the backfield off of the uh, snap here is Jack Pettenberg. He's got some pressure in the backfield. He airs it out to the right side, and it is picked off by Holy Cross. Huge interception by the defense that time, and they have it set up nice and pretty deep into St. Charles territory. First down, oh boy, so again, on first and 10, St. Charles tries to make something happen with a power eye right formation. Big pressure that time by the Holy Cross defense, and Pettenberg throws the ball up and it is picked off. And now Holy Cross's offense is back on the field. Well, it's obvious what Holy Cross is doing here. They're low in the box up and they're saying, St. Charles, beat us with the pass. Yeah. Beat us with the pass. We're not going to let yeah. you sweep. We're not going to let you uh, run it at us. You're going to have to throw it to beat us because we're putting everybody in the box. Here's Holy Cross on first and 10 from the St. Charles 29-yard line. Give to uh, uh, Grant out of the backfield. Sweep to the right side. Breaks it back through the middle. And he is going to be downfield. He has got one man to beat inside the 10. Finally wrangled down at the 5-yard line. A 22-yard run by Grant Takes it down to the 5. First and 10 coming up for Holy Cross. First and goal, not first and 10. Excuse me. What a great run by Grant Jake Vanek. Makes the stop with Charles, but 
Curly Grant. We can't say enough about oh, this young man. Man, oh man, he what a player. He's not. He has great vision and he runs so hard. Yeah. Started out right, broke it back through the middle, finished left all the way down at the five yard line. They start the clock up here with 20 seconds to go. Again, Holy Cross punched this one in in the third quarter. We come to the line with 12 seconds left. High formation. Morrison under center, quick give to the fullback. Blows right through the middle, gets down to about the two yard line. And that's going to be about it for the third quarter of action right here. When we come back, folks, Holy Cross will be facing a second and goal from about the two and a half yard line to begin the fourth quarter. We'll be back in one minute. Your score 24 to 6, Holy Cross on top of St. Charles. You're listening to CYO Championship Football on Redeemer Radio, Catholic Radio AM 